On June 14, 2018, then SEC Director of Corporation Finance William Hinman gave a high profile speech where he declared that a token is not a security when it becomes, quote, sufficiently decentralized. But internal emails and documents show that senior SEC officials repeatedly warned Hinman that his speech wasn't true to the law and would greatly confuse the markets even more than they already were. Now, after more than two years and seven court orders, we can finally share some of what we found in the Hinman speech documents. The SEC head of trading and markets warned Hinman that he was making up factors that, quote, go beyond the typical Howey analysis, as in not in the law, and that the speech could lead to not just confusion, but greater confusion on what is a security. Hinman ignored him. If the network on which the token or coin is to function is sufficiently decentralized and the purchasers no longer have a reasonable expectation that a person or a group is going to carry out essential managerial or entrepreneurial efforts, those assets might not represent an investment contract. The same official told Hinman he should tie his speech, quote, more closely and explicitly to the Howey analysis. Hinman not only ignored him, but deliberately created factors beyond those identified by the Supreme Court in the Howey case. I wanted to just note a few things. This list is not meant to be exhaustive, but these are things that we look at. The SEC's own general counsel warned specifically that it's legally irrelevant if someone retains a stake in a token and is motivated to take action to increase its value, and that Hinman should delete it from the speech. And once again, Hinman ignored them and said without any legal support that it was important to ask. Has that person or group retained a stake in, or other interests in the digital assets such that it would be motivated to expend efforts to cause an increase in the value of the digital asset? Both Trading and Markets and the General Counsel also disagreed with Hinman's belief that if a network was sufficiently decentralized, information asymmetries would no longer exist, noting that a network creator would likely have more information than a retail holder, using Vitalik Buterin as an example. They warned Hinman that by creating this, quote, other category and focusing on information asymmetries, he was exposing a regulatory gap that the SEC may not have the jurisdiction to fill. Again, Hinman ignored them. As the network becomes more truly decentralized, the ability to even to identify a promoter or to make the requisite, and someone that could actually make the requisite disclosures becomes in many cases difficult or um, and perhaps much less meaningful. On June 4th, Hinman wrote that he didn't see a, quote, need to regulate Ether as a security, and set up a call with Ethereum's co-founder Vitalik Buterin later that week to, quote, confirm our understanding. On June 11th, the SEC's own general counsel advised against including any direct statement about Ether in the speech, because it would be difficult for the SEC to, quote, take a different position on Ether in the future. The next day, Trading and Markets wrote that the statements about Ether were, quote, likely to create more confusion. Hinman ignored all of them and decided to make headlines, picking winners and losers instead. Moreover, putting aside the fundraising that accompanied the creation of Ether, based on my understanding of the present state of Ether, the Ethereum network, its decentralized structure, we believe current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions. The emails show that Hinman knew he wasn't following the law. He knew he was making things up. And he knew that his speech would result in greater confusion in an already confused market. But Hinman went ahead with the speech anyway. And the SEC, despite knowing all this, touted the speech repeatedly. The SEC chairman himself pointed market participants to the speech. Bill Hinman recently outlined the approach we take to evaluate whether a digital asset is a security. And I encourage you to take a look at Bill's speech, which is available on our website. The SEC knew the speech didn't follow the law. The SEC knew the speech would create greater confusion. And the SEC knew Hinman was making things up. So why is the Hinman speech still on the SEC's website? Why was it ever allowed to be given at all? And why has the SEC pushed a policy of regulation by enforcement, falsely insisting the rules are clear?